everybody! Welcome back again to my channel. I am super excited about this video because in this video, I get to share some of the most popular K-drama outfits in the year of 2020. So a few days ago, I received a PR package from Yestal and the task that we are tasked with is that we supposed to dress up or put together some outfits that um, resembles um, Komunyong from It's Okay Not To Be Okay. Um, also, Yun Seri from Crash Landing On You and also Golun from The King, The Monarch. So I'm just gonna be honest that I'm not so much a big fan of the King, The Monarch drama. I don't know, it's just not my style. I'm also not so much into Lee Min Ho and also the female lead. Um, but I do really, really love Crash Landing On You. I really love Yun Seri, which is Son Ye Jin and then also Hyun Bin. Um, they're, they're just a couple that looks great together and every time there's k-drama about North Korea and South Korea I'm in but I'm gonna say though in terms of k-drama fashion what has been shaking the k-drama fashion world this year is Ko Moon Young's fashion even during the k-drama air time or once it's done with the, all, all the episodes everyone's just keep talking about Ko Moon Young's drama a lot of places and online businesses are just copying um, Go Moon Young's fashion, like a lot of dupes of her outfit. But I'm just gonna say today that a lot of the outfits I'm gonna showing you to you is not exactly a dupe. It's stuff that you can find in your own closet. Um, it is inspired by those stars or characters, but I'm gonna say that it's not a total dupe. So you don't have to go online and buy stuff before you can, you know, look like. So without further ado, I'm going to share with you some of the outfit and walk you through how each of the pieces look and what constitutes the outfit of these three female leads. So let's get started. Guys, this is super cute. So I'm trying to be like Ko Moon Young. And a um, few stuff I want to show off first is this glasses. I have been craving for glasses like this for a while because when I see Ko Moon Young with these glasses, it's like, oh my god, so cool and classy. It's that I really, really love this. And sorry that my eyes is not as pretty as this sunglasses. Um, but yeah, it looks so nice. I mean, it is not hundreds of dollars like gentle monster but it still gives you a very nice look even from afar when you're taking picture and also i really 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 love the combo of this earrings the hair of course and the lipstick i'm gonna show you what the lipstick is but oh my god i've never looked i've never had lipstick or lip tint that makes my like lip look so moistured and not moisture it just looks so like puffy um so yeah i really really love this combo the earrings is so like dangling whenever you see ko Moon young the thing that you see is like whoa so feminine whoa so cool like her style is a mix of someone looking so chic and like cool and feminine at the same time so what i want to show you off also is this dress um, I think when you talk about Ko Moon Young, like I said earlier, the one thing that you can tell is she's very girly, very like very Victorian, um, and dresses like this where you see like ruffles and very like vintage color um, really suits her, like yellow, a little brownish. Um, so yeah, it's very girly, very flowy, and it's definitely something that Ko Moon Young, I can see her wearing. Now, I think with this combo, I don't think there's anything on her, like the movie that where she wears something like this, but um, this is inspired by her like yellow and brown belt dress. Um, Cause like, I think it's it probably would have been, um, you know, higher hair, but yeah, she was wearing like, I think boots and also um, her dress is kind of like, yeah, it is very girly, but it's a combination of how cool, chic, and like girly and feminine she looks. It's super cool. And of course, this glasses just scream Ko Moon Young all at once. Plus, if you're trying to like copy or mimic her look, 
the earrings is also a big thing like wearing a statement earring that's like long or big i think it's her thing so yeah i am very happy about this look obviously it's not like a dupe a complete dupe of what she wore but it's very close like if you um see the style it matches one more thing i want to show off is this bag of course this is nowhere like what moon young would wear but i think a combo of all this would make the look go even better yeah so what do you think okay i guess just to show off this is the lip tint that was given to me it's i'm me me um and it's i'm mystery blur tint number five the color guys i really love it matches i think my skin tone a lot it looks like a natural lip it's not too pink it's not too brown it's kind of in the middle of both and then for eyes i'm sorry i don't do a good job doing my air um actually i'm gonna open it up for ya because i've been i've had this in my card for quite a while and i'm glad that i finally got it this is what it looks like looks so good mm -mm. it is so velvety but also like soft mm -hmm. i love it it's probably one of my most favorite lip product of all time also i got this i don't know Reve rib the paris um it's eyeshadow palette um let me see what's the color name i don't know if there's any um but omg omg it looks super nice it looks like this this is what the palette looks like and then when you open it oh my god this is so nice you can look at me <laughs> um yeah this is what the color oops what the color looks like i've kind of used it so it's um yeah a little bit not great but yep oh <sighs> god it is so cute but if i can recommend out of all this I'd say my favorite thing, top three things out of all these products are the earrings for sure. A look, I've never seen myself like this before. It's so pretty. And then I would recommend the lip product for sure. It's so nice. And then I would also recommend the glasses because I've been eyeing these glasses for a while and it's just super cool. Outfit number two is inspired by Crash Landing on You. Um, so this is one of Yoon Zeri's outfit. Um, she did not wear a pearl um, bandana but or hairband. I figured it's a good addition. I really love how feminine this bandana or hairband makes me look. Also, um, the outfit that Yoon Zeri was wearing, she was wearing like a high neck. I guess um, turtleneck and then she wear this like black and white floor floral dress and then she was wearing like a cardigan on top of it that's a little slouchy so yeah um, the cardigan I got from Korea when I went there but it's super cute um, dress is from Yesta, top is from Banana Republic and Fila Shoes. But yeah, she was wearing this dress, looks super feminine. I love how different um, her outfit was. I guess I love how different her outfit was when she was in North Korea versus when she was in South Korea. Everything that she wears in South Korea is like very feminine, soft. It's like village girl type of vibe, which is kind of like this, you know, like very simple outfit does not look too like expensive or over the top and when she moved to south korea her outfit just totally changed i think most of her look is very like girl boss like or she wear like blazers um just like look like very expensive and she's like girl boss vibe anyways i'm just gonna say that crash landing on you was one of my most favorite drama 
I feel like every time there's a drama about North Korea and South Korea, it's always like very, I don't know, just curious about it, you know? And the fact that there can be love stories between those people from the North and the South is just very interesting to me. So especially with I think Hyun Bin being one of the stars, and I also really love um, Son Ye Jin. Uh, I really love both of them. So that drama, I keep waiting every week when it was like released every week. And if you have not watched that drama already, I would recommend 10 out of 10 would recommend. Yeah, but this is the outfit. I'm really happy about this one too. So last one, when it comes to Kim Go Eul, which is um, the female lead of King, um, she is very boyish i think her outfit tend to be more on like very um how to say effortless um she does she has curly hair curlier hair um she does wear a lot of like white shirt very earthy i'm gonna say that typically her outfit is not as colorful colorful as what i'm wearing today but her outfit is still like very just easy to wear so overall i wear this turtleneck um and then just any i guess shirt on top of it and then also very baggy pants one more thing i would like to show off is i know she does not really wear this a lot in the drama but i feel like a lot of korean love bucket hat these days in the year 2020 so i'm gonna wear it anyways Hopefully that video was very entertaining for you and inspiring as well. Just in case, maybe tomorrow or the day after tomorrow, you want to try dressing up as any of these female leads. I'm going to say that I am a big fan of Ko Min Young's fashion. Of course, it's not something that I can wear to the office looking like uh, cuckoo. Um, I also cannot wear that outfit most of the time, but you know what? during the pandemic season maybe you can make some kind of tiktok or something like that online so it is totally doable especially you're not going out there all the time so people are not gonna shame you you're just home um so yeah guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope it was fun and entertaining and see you guys in the next video bye bye